I was just a, I was a home brewer myself. It was just a hobby for me. And I was pretty much fresh out of college, and I was a home brewer in college, and up at UCLA. And uh, I had a job down here working for an airline, and, and I was a pretty flexible job. And I didn't know, I was young, so I didn't know what I wanted to do. I just knew that I liked home brewing, and there was no homebrew supply shop within you know, about a half, half hour's drive. And also they were, they were you know, mostly extract cans, and they didn't know too much about all grain brewing or anything like that. So I figured uh, I would give it a shot, and I figured I could open up something that uh, uh, had a little bit more variety, a little bit more all grain, focused and I had a little bit more knowledge about that than, than they did so uh, just figured I was young and could give it a shot and it, it just took off you know we we're much more centrally located where the home brew mart is it's right kind of at the intersection of two the five and the, and the eight so most of our population is right there it's surrounded by downtown and you know Pacific Beach and, and Linda Vista and the uh, USD the college is right there it's kind of the epicenter of, of San Diego, sort of. So I felt there must be a lot of other homebrewers like me that didn't want to drive a half hour to get marginal and stuff. And if it, if it uh, didn't work for me, it was kind of a small investment anyway. Um, but yeah, everybody would kind of cycle through the home, the homebrew mart. Um, a lot of those guys cycled through our local homebrew club, uh, which is Qua. Uh, there's actually a couple of them, but that's kind of that's the first one, and that's the, the main one. So uh, you know, the guys from Ale Smith came came through that Quaff Club, and also were uh, regular shoppers at the Homebrew Mart. Um, Vinny Chalerzo of Russian River, he actually started out uh, homebrewing in San Diego out of Temecula with a brewery called Blind Pig uh, Brewing Company. And he'd come get his uh, uh, homebrew ingredients uh, from us occasionally. And uh, we'd go up there and get grapes from him. He was doing the whole homebrew thing in his parents' winery, which is really cool. Yeah. Um, so yeah, everybody kind of cycled, cycled through. No idea whatsoever. Just kind of... Uh, Happy accident, I guess. Dumb luck. We just had, you know, just some really good people that were avid homebrewers and, and happen to have the talent to back that up and to take it to another level. And so yeah, it's just uh, it's phenomenal how this the San Diego scene has gone off. Do you find yourself sort of taking it for granted after? I mean, like, I mean, you guys live here, you know, so you're just, you know, I mean, for us, it's like we walk into a beer bar, and we're like, oh my god. You know? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, maybe we do. I guess. Uh, I guess that's all relative. But uh, you know, we're all always stoked to go visit each other's pubs or go into each other's breweries and try try beers. But we're also. I mean, we like to travel the country and go to other places and see what other people are doing. And there's, you know, when we go to the GABF and get to some of the breweries out there and see what they're doing. That's that's a lot of fun too. So yeah, we're beer geeks. So but you can kind of see it in our in our marketing. You know, it's all word of mouth you know we don't have any marketing budget per se it's us we make the beer that we like to drink and so we'll argue amongst ourselves about you know what we think you know certain beers should taste like and and uh usually it's kind of a fun argument because it involves drinking a lot of beer but uh and we just wanted it to kind of um have a san diego feel to it and when you think about san diego we just think about the things that you know that we like to do and Fishing is a big one, especially for um, our head brewer, Yusuf. He's an avid fisherman. And then my, uh, my uh, VP of sales, big fisherman. Um, the surfing thing had kind of been already done, a little bit played out. The fishing thing hadn't, hadn't been done. So, um, and Ballast Point is named after a kind of a historical landmark right off of uh, Point Loma, where Cabrillo landed in San Diego. So we wanted just to have, you know, the San Diego roots. And then if, it, if the name became popular and it grew beyond San Diego, great. 